go, Brandon. Okay, guys, real quick update. I just uploaded the video update on the uh, New York subway shooter, and there's already an update. Uh, but when I put that video out, they didn't actually have the name of the person, and it looks like there's a couple of other facts that I may have gotten wrong based on the sources that I had. It does look like they now have a suspect. I'd mentioned in the previous video that the suspect left his credit card at the scene, and they tracked that to a U-Haul that he had rented. It now appears that it's actually a set of keys to the U-Haul that he left at the scene, which was equally stupid and irresponsible if the guy was truly, in fact, trying to get away as much as he is detailed and planned this whole thing out to leave the keys to the U-Haul that you rented to drive there. It just seems really suspect to me. The suspect is Frank James, 62 years old. He's believed to be the renter of the abandoned U-Haul. And in fact, the update, I had speculated earlier that because um, he, we had a jammed Glock, and Glocks are not known to be jammed except for the Glock 44 and 22 long rifle, uh, at least my experiences. It appears that we have an inexperienced shooter. There were 30 round magazines, which are illegal in New York. I'm sure the handgun was possessed illegally as well. Of course, shooting people is illegal as well, but it's a Glock 17 that they're saying he had a nine millimeter, which is really odd. Sounds like an extremely inexperienced shooter, number one. He didn't kill anybody. Uh, I'm glad that he didn't. The gun jammed on him. I can honestly say that unless you have an incredibly abused Glock 17, I've never heard of one jamming. I have never heard of a Glock 17 jamming before. So sounds like we have a really inexper inexperienced shooter here that probably limp wristed it. All of this is extremely suspect. Obviously, they don't have a motive because they haven't picked the guy up yet, but they are looking for him. The most interesting thing is that it now looks like that Mr. James is probably not going to be free for very long because now that they've got his picture out there and his full name, you can bet his his boys are calling him up right now like, dude, that's you on TV. So I don't, he'll, he should be in custody within the hour, I would guess. For sure, tonight he'll be in custody. But anyway, I just want to put that quick update out there. I had some information that is now proven inaccurate, and I wanted to make sure I updated that. Let's go, Brandon.